normally biogas is scrubbed under pressure okay uh, typically the scrubbing efficiency improves with uh, pressure so pressures typically go from uh, 10 bar to 20 or even 30 bars at times different different uh, uh, groups are doing uh, the, the, this at different this the like iit delhi has been typically scrubbing at 10 bars okay uh, so this entails compressing the gas first to about 10 bars and then uh, this so the compress is required a uh, maintenance of the compressor power consumption of the compressor and all and after scrubbing the co2 is eliminated and h2s is removed and so on and so forth and so the volume reduces so you are compressing a larger gas and then you get a smaller volume of compressed purified gas so what we thought was why not conserve energy by separating the co2 and h2s before it goes into the compressor that will help us reduce the size of the compressor the power consumed by the compressor and thus improve the economics of the scrubbing on the energy front uh, the other thing we were looking at was how to reduce the cost of the scrubbing equipment and the uh, this uh, scrubbing is typically done to improve the energy efficiency of the or uh, the calorific value of the gas uh, being burnt or being used as a fuel uh, by eliminating the non combustibles from it Uh, and also we need to scrub the gas to remove h2s to uh, make it uh, more friendly to the equipment handling it so corrosion issues and all can be reduced and eliminated uh, so we are going with a water based scrubber but at atmospheric pressure or near atmospheric pressure or at the dome pressure so first thing we are doing is we are not using the compressor to compress the feed going into the scrubber this also makes the scrubber operate at a atmospheric temperature or near atmospheric temperature which uh, now is not pressurized so the steel required or whatever metallurgy that we use okay uh, the, the weight and cost of the equipment or the, uh, the scrubbing equipment also goes down so these are some of the uh, things which make this scrubber very cost effective and here what we are using is we are using some rotating contacting devices okay which enable very high surface densities okay to give you good contact between the gas and the uh, uh water okay because we are operating at low pressure near atmospheric pressure okay uh, the uh, absorption of gases in the water is very low because of being operated at lower pressure so we need much much larger quantities of water to scrub the thing so if the pressure is 10 times less the quantity the absor absorptivity of uh, the gas in water will also be significantly less somewhere around 10 times less that means we need 10 times more water to scrub it of course we are recycling the water so there is no issue about uh, using more water to scrub as long as we are recycling there is no problem with that but the conventional pack columns and thing like that cannot handle this very large flow of water compared to the gas so the the flooding will take place or the pressure drops in the column will be very high and so on and so forth so our new technique of rotating contacting device enables the gas to pass through the scrubbing section without any pressure drop at all in fact the flow of water turns the wheels and the wheels in turn circulate the air uh, circulate the gases so there is no pressure drop measured across the scrubber in our case okay so these are some of the main differences between ours and this okay uh, the conventional technology which will enable us to reduce the initial cost by a factor of at least 5 times if not 10 times compared to the con best conventional pressurized water based scrubbing technology which is the next best alternative to what we are doing once this is proven effectively then we already have a uh consultancy going on to transfer this technology once it is demonstrated successfully then we will iit can license this technology to them so at least one client in india we already have in that sense 
we recently filed a patent also for some of the uh, innovations uh, which we have developed uh, during this phase. So, in year, year and a half times, we, we anticipate we will have a field demonstration of about uh, 12 meter cube per hour capacity, uh, processing capacity. Uh, we are also setting up one unit uh, at our IITB uh, biogas plant, which uh, also uses the biogas uh, generated from 2 to 3 tons of uh, food waste uh, uh, per day, okay, uh, in one of the hostel kitchens. I think hostel 3 kitchen is currently being served with the biogas from there. Uh, so, uh, that biogas which is currently going there unscrubbed, uh, we can scrub it and then supply it uh, without adding any pumps or compressors or you know, this in the line other than whatever circulators they have right now uh, because the distance between the plant and the you know, hostel 3 kitchen is quite significant. So, they have a circulator there but other than that we will not be adding any other additional uh, component there to circulate the thing through our biogas scrubber.